Okay, I came across something new that I wanted to share right away. I found another sensor to make a pulse motor trigger. And this is called an inductive proximity sensor that they use in 3D printers. And it's activated by any metal object that gets close to it. And I found this by watching videos by Ludic Science. He did two great videos on how these things work. And he made a pulse uh, motor using a ball, basically, going around in a circle around a coil. But they're called inductive proximity sensors. And I found one that works on 5 volt. And so uh, immediately I thought USB power. And I got a pulse motor to work off that. Uh, they have three wires here. You're supposed to wire it into a circuit using a transistor. But I just bypassed everything and used a high resistance coil. But any metal object going by the front of that changes the induction of a coil inside there. There's a circuit inside here that triggers the um, thing that you want to trigger. And what I've got here is a high resistance coil, an LED across the coil backwards to pick up the flyback so I don't hurt what's inside that. And then just a two magnet rotor and then um, a piece of aluminum tape. That's all that is. And as that goes by the front of that uh, sensor it senses it and off we go to the races and you can see what it's drawing right now according to this it's zero but it's not really it's about 20 milliamps on the uh, power bank but uh, yeah a really really neat thing and of course what's going through my mind now is can i build an inductive sensor that's even better than something like this uh, make these microamp pulse motors work. I'm going to look into it, but they have these in inductive and also capacitive sensing. And one of the problems with the pulse motors is the triggering, is trying to get this triggering to happen without using a high voltage or without having the reed switch drag up along the, the magnet and slow it down. So when I found this, I just had to try it right away. And uh, I thank Ludic Science. I'll give a link to his uh, website for the videos he's done on this. And these are called inductive proximity sensors. You can get them on eBay or Amazon or all over. And they vary in price from as low as about 5 bucks up to 12 bucks. I spent $12 to get this because I wanted it overnight. And it came overnight. And I immediately had sex success with it uh, working. But this was so good that it warrants my famous walk around so I'm gonna take this off here and um, take this for a little walk and I just once in a while I find these projects and I people that watch my videos know why I do this it goes way way back but this one warranted it so we're gonna do the little walk around here and this is back in the bedroom just to show that I'm not blowing on that thing or anything and then of course uh, you have to look at the feet a little bit, but uh, this has a red light that blinks on the back when that fires. And that is uh, really, really neat. And um, they have all different types of these proximity sensors. I'm sure this is what they're using in the engines now to, to camshaft sensor and crankshaft sensors or this inductive where there's not a magnet that triggers it. It's just the uh, metal object going in front of the sensor coil. And it changes the inductance of the circuit in there and triggers the object to, or triggers the device to trigger something else. But anyway, I just thought this was really, really cool. So I thought I'd do a video right away in the little walk around. But um, yeah, thanks Ludic Science for uh, posting those videos and uh, giving me a new way to trigger a pulse motor. Thanks for watching.